So hi everyone, this is Thomas Live, and today I got some awesome news for you guys. I'm going to be ending my $100 giveaway. So whenever Thomas Live News reaches 36,000 subscribers, which is a few hundred people, we're gonna end that giveaway and we're gonna pick a winner and I'll have the video ready for you guys either today or tomorrow or whenever that channel reaches that. And the reason I'm doing that is because I want to give you guys a chance to go over there and subscribe so that way you can be entered in the giveaway. I've been running this giveaway the whole month and it is finally going to end. So if you guys want to enter that, be sure to go do so. So I got a bunch of GTA news for you guys and it's some good news and I guess it's some bad news for some of you out there. Now the good news is that Rockstar has decided to to fix the issue that was going on with the Banshee as well as the Sultan where the mods were not sticking to the car. As you guys know, we got an update a few days ago, right? And within an update, we were able to take our car inside of Benny's workshop and we were able to customize the car to our liking. Now, there was a glitch in the game that denied the mods from sticking on that car once you purchased them. Now, Rockstar listens to the community and they fixed it. So that's awesome. That's good news. But a huge problem is for those out there who did purchase those mods and they also repurchased those mods and that caused them to lose possibly a million dollars. I mean, it can definitely happen. And I'm pretty sure it happened to a lot of you guys out there. You're probably saying, whoa, what the heck? Did I purchase this part? I guess I didn't. Let me repurchase this or let me purchase this part. And that happened to a lot of people out there and they lost money. Now, if you're one of those people and you did lose money and Rockstar did not reward you money, you can simply go to the Rockstar support form, fill out a ticket and Rockstar will give you money. I'm pretty sure Rockstar is probably already on it and they're issuing money as we speak. So the issue that I'm speaking about will be fixed in the next update. It's not fixed right now, but Rockstar has uploaded the fix to the servers, but have not released it to the public. So it should either be in a few days or a week. We should get the next update. Now, here's the bad news to a lot of you guys out there. I'm guessing money glitches is causing people to get banned for 20 years from GTA 5. Now, I don't know why YouTubers are making a big deal out of this because I've seen Rockstar ban people for over 20 years. I've seen people get banned for 100 years, but, but for a while, Rockstar did stop with the Lintley bans. But it seems that now they are back and they are banning people for 20 years. So that's insane. I'm guessing what GTA... 15 will probably be out in 20 years. I don't know. But anyway, man, be careful out there. You may want to be careful with the money glitches or mods or whatever. And uh, yeah, that's all I can say. I don't know how you guys can prevent from getting banned. I don't know. I guess just don't get caught with your hand in the cookie jar. This is Domus Live. Make sure you guys go enter my giveaway. It's over on Domus Live News. It's going to be a link in the description. If you guys would like to enter that, just go subscribe to the channel and you shall be entered. We only have, uh, what, a few hundred slots left. So, yeah, get over there. Subscribe to the channel. This is Domus Live. I love you guys. And I'm out.